Alrighty. Well, I've got a 40 watt panel. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but I got it a while ago actually. Um, and set up the little cardboard house battery in a plastic box. Not your average plastic box. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can see it. A little squares, what squares? It's got like an elevated base, which is made up of all little, well, basically bits of plastic that are all crisscrossed to give it a bit more strength, uh, which is what I wanted, and that's I deliberately bought this box to put this battery into because I knew that it was going to have to be a decent strength box to drag around a little 26 amp hour battery. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I've got the leads there. It's like your Harbour Freight shittos. Um, they've got them at Repco too, which I don't recommend any of the solar systems sold by Repco. You only buy that sort of stuff if you're stupid. Um, but basically, their stuff is a rip-off. Anyway, I... Have one of these kind of charge controllers that tells you what the hell's going on. And uh well, you'll see in a second as you probably saw already. It's the current, nothing. Today's input in amp hours. Day before input and the day before that. And that's right, solar panels listen to battery voltage. What I've made, instead of plugging this up and having little sparks jump between there, I'll put a switch in there. And it means that when we go back through the whole scroll through all the crap again, I'll turn it on now bulk charge <laughs> which is what it'll say either bulk charge absorber charge or float charge and then at night it says that PV less than battery voltage um, so yeah that allows me to pull the plug on this and solder more of these plugs onto um, different solar panels like the original 20 watt solar panel that I had on the cardboard house uh, so I can chop and change solar panels on this thing um, unfortunately I couldn't find my shrink tube stuff that I usually solder with um, I went looking for it once before and I don't know where the hell it's gone either but uh, so that's been lost for a couple of months I got it really cheap but what it is it's like a little you sometimes see it in electrical stuff it's um, just hang on a second, I've actually got some out of this vacuum cleaner I destroyed. That's it there. It comes as a little tube and you can just sort of cut these little lengths. It's like a little bit of, almost reminds you of a drinking straw actually, but sort of a different kind of plastic. And you sit it over the stuff you want to solder and deal with as they have on either side of this switch. And then you just hold a cigarette lighter underneath it and the heat of the cigarette lighter will cause it all to shrink nice and tight. And I have that somewhere but I can't find it so I've gone and had to use the dirty ass old style electrical tape which means it doesn't look terribly nice but the fact of the matter is that um, most of this stuff is likely to sit inside if not actually in the back parcel rack of my car. And, uh, you know, I can pull the plug, turn the switch off and pull the plug on this and then I've got a not terribly portable battery pack I can use to charge up tablets and Wi-Fi modems and phones and, and whatever the heck else I feel like doing. But, uh, yeah, this little... Um, it's quite good this battery actually, it's exceedingly good. Um, gives you all your cycle charge, your float charge, uh, recommended charge current. I think it's... Uh,
maximum charge current 9.1 amp, recommended 5.2, and uh, I think you can draw like you know a maximum of the same amount or something, and it gives you all your amp hour capacities according to um, how fast your draw is. You can actually get 30 amp hours out of this 26 amp hour battery if you draw it over 100 hours. 26 amp hours over 20 hours, 21.3 amp hours over 5 hours. So the harder you draw, the quicker it goes flat, which is the way all deep cycle batteries run. The harder you draw, the lower real capacity you're going to get. The slower you draw, you actually may get above rated capacity, as you will with this one. And uh, this is an American built one that's bloody good quality. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that.